Alright, welcome back everyone. I do have a couple things that I do want to talk about right now. Um, so, first things first is this moving average right here. It is a 610 moving average, EMA. Uh, this is a Fibonacci number. And basically what this video is going to be, this is either going to be... We're, we're going to be talking about whether or not this is essentially like a bull trap or not. You can clearly see we are above it right now. Last time that we did that was essentially... We were up here for like a little bit, which we're on the four hour time frame, by the way, uh, right before the whole FTX thing happened. And then we went Kapui time before that was pretty much back here in March of 2022. We got up a bit higher than that. And then we went like really Kapui. But more importantly, if we do actually just go back um, to the prior cycle, you can see each time. Boop, ew, boop, ew, boop, ew. And then pretty much capitulated. So, the other thing I do want to mention with this is, we actually talked about this and we were getting quite bullish back here and then FTX happened. But we're going to shift over to Glassnode and this is the Pi Cycle top. So, shout out to DJ Amped once again because he pointed this out to me like months ago. But, um, so basically what happens here is, anytime that you're able to get above this lower moving average uh, on the Pi Cycle top indicator, you pretty much go on for like a giga uh, bullish push, I guess you can say. And right now, we actually are above it. So we kind of got faked out last time with the FTX. If I zoom out here a little bit, you can kind of see it. We got up for literally like a day, two days, and then we went kapui back below it. We're actually higher above it than what we were back here. But just to show you guys once again, uh, if we do go back to the like prior cycle, um, essentially once you were able to break back above it, you can like see right here, we went all the way up to the purple line, uh, had a nice rally. Essentially, this was from about 12,000 to, or wait now, the price was at 3,900 to about uh, 13,000. And then same thing for like 2015 with the exception of like the double tap uh, but for the bottom you went all the way up once you were able to get above here this was at $253 and it got all the way up to essentially about $750 $60 so right now we are above it and our purple line is actually currently at about $53,000 so I'm not saying that we're just going to go vertically straight on up you can see if we replicate 2015 to a degree um what we would essentially be seeing going on right here this could take like a while however if we do something more like 2018 this happened a lot quicker it went from about march of 2019 to june of 2019 while if we go back here this was essentially october of 2015 and that was june of 2016 so basically what this could mean is this would obviously probably be going down over a certain period of time uh, and make this lower. However, we are back above that moving average right now. You can even see kind of the same thing happened over here, but obviously we are way lower at this point. So what I'm getting at here is essentially if we don't get rejected here, we should be good. However, if we do get rejected here, then we're probably going to see a decent drawback on Bitcoin. Um, and I basically just want to go over like all that. Uh, it is quite, quite interesting. And the last thing I also did want to mention right here is this is also another moving average. That is a Fibonacci number that we could potentially get up to and then see a rejection at, which is at about currently about $19,858. Uh, $58. That's where it is currently at. Uh, you can see we've gotten rejected there before and then if you, you want to zoom back you can see the same thing but if we were at the lows essentially that it, i would say that's probably like one or two things you're either like over here or you'd be somewhere over here potentially but i mean to each their own you guys make up your own decisions but yeah you can even see nicely back tested that and went you um 
other than that though that's really going to be about it for the video i did just want to mainly show you guys a couple of those moving averages and the uh pie cycle top because i know we've talked about it before um if you did enjoy the video leave a like comment sub all that fun stuff really helps the channel grow really do appreciate it other than that you guys have a phenomenal day as always and remember none of this financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions i am not a financial advisor so whatever i say don't do do your own research other than that Adios muchachos.